Hi everyone. I hope you're doing great and I hope you're enjoying the experience at Geoscon Africa. I am so glad that you made time to come and listen to my talk, Building Trust in AI, the importance of explainability in open source projects. I hope by the end of this talk, I will have inspired you and shared with you the significance of explainability in AI projects with the context of open source projects and of course community help. So let's get right into it. I am Brian Kaiwanyuba. I'm currently a machine learning engineer apprentice at Omdina, where I'm working on a project to reduce implicit biases in healthcare scenarios, healthcare ER scenarios with AI. I am, of course, ridiculously interested in open source. I love open source. I've contributed to several open source projects, and I'm currently also one of the volunteers at the Open Source Community Africa Nairobi chapter. Also, you can know more about me in that in the link, the, in my website link, but I'll share that with you later, of course. So yeah, so what is the significance of explainability in AI open source projects? We have seen several failures in the past of very big open source projects that have failed because of the lack of explainability. For example, a project that was, developed, what was being developed by a team of researchers in Stanford University where they were developing an AI system that could predict whether a password would commit a crime based on their social media activity. However, the system was not able to explain how it made its predictions, which raised concerns about potential for the system to be used to discriminate someone or people for, of a certain group. So you see all these are errors and are failures of many projects that we could have mitigated if we could have included explainability in our project. So let me share a use case here. So for example, if you are held accountable for the decision of a machine in contexts that have financial safety, security, or personal ramifications to an individual, would you blindly trust his decision? How can we hold accountable artificial intelligence systems that can make decisions on possibly unethical grounds? For example, predicting a person's weight and health by their social media images or the world region they are but they are from as part of their downstream determination about their future, or like when they quit their job, commit a crime, or could be radicalized into terrorism. You see, all of these are things that we wouldn't want to happen to us. And we can mitigate them through explainability in our various open source AI projects. So let's see what exactly is explainability. So according to the Oxford Dictionary, Explain, the term explainable means that to account an, a, a statement or account that makes something clear, a reason or justification given for an action or belief. So you see like something that is made clear, you get to understand the root system of it. You get to understand, okay, how is this coming into being? Like, you know, some of the, some of us can easily explain concepts like in Python, in Java, can easily explain closures in, in Python per se. So that is the same way you want to use it here. So maybe can you account for it? Can you say where did it come from? Is it is is the end justified? Like is the end clearly explained? So based on this definition, most of the existing A systems are not explainable. And you're going to see how in the next in the next slide. So, but you see that with the goal of explainability is to actually reduce biases in artificial intelligence because the whole goal of explainability is leading us towards responsible innovation and responsible AI, which are concepts that are very critical in the development and in the current machine learning space. So let's see more. So explainability in AI systems builds trust by providing users with significant insights into how decisions are made. So for example, for example, explainability in AI increases trust. When users have visibility into the reasoning behind the AI outcomes, they are more likely to trust the system and feel confident in its capabilities. This trust then fosters user adoption and encourages continued engagement within the technology. For let me share an example of this. If you currently ChatGPT is the buzz in the street, like everyone is talking about ChatGPT. So in Zimbabwe, there's a team of builders that came together and they built a chat GPT version for Zimbabwe. So you see like once they've built such, such, such a thing for Zimbabwe, it can probably understand the local Zimbabwe language and all that. That helps foster like it makes the users feel like they are more they are more confident in using it. For example, if someone came up with the chat GPT that you could actually prompt it in pidgin, 
very fluently in pidgin language well, did you want to use it so yeah you would want to use it another significance of explainability is it improves user adoption rates of ai systems users are more likely to embrace and adopt an AI technology when they can understand and interpret the decisions they made so when AI models are, are explainable, users, of course, feel more comfortable using the technology to high adoption rates and better user satisfaction. So even if you're working on, a pro on an open source AI project, it wouldn't be hard for them to like catch up with it. Also, explainability in open source projects enables community collaboration and improvement. When the inner workings of AI models are transparent and accessible, community members can contribute to the development and improvement of the models. This collaboration strengthens the project's overall health and fosters a sense of collective ownership and responsibility within the community, which is what we all want and we are all looking forward to. So maybe the last point we have before I move on, also by understanding the reasoning behind AI, decisions, users and developers can identify and address potential biases, unfairness, or discriminatory outcomes. This transparency holds AI systems accountable and helps in mitigating unintended consequences and promotes ethical practices within the open source community. So you see like it plays a very crucial role in ensuring ethical accountability in AI systems. So let me just go right into the explainability techniques and tools so that we see how exactly can I what can I use to ensure explainability in my open source project? So we have, yeah, I'm just going to share with you three, but there are many other tools that you can use. So the first one is rule-based models. With rule-based models, they provide transparency and interpretability by using explicit rules that make decisions. They are widely applicable in open source projects and can be easily understood and modified by the community. A classical example of the rule-based system is the domain-specific expert system that uses rules to make a deduction deductions of choices. For example, an expert system might help a doctor choose the correct diagnosis based on a cluster of symptoms. So those are just, that's just a simple example of rule-based models. Another one is feature importance analysis. With feature importance analysis, this helps you in understanding which features or variables have the most significant impact on the model's outputs. With this technique, it allows open source developers to identify key factors driving the model decisions and assess their fairness and bias. We also have model agnostic techniques. With model agnostic techniques such as Lime and Sharp, they are valuable for open source projects. So Lime refers to local interpretable model agnostic explanations, and Sharp is shapely additive explanations, where you can just check them out. These techniques provide local explanations for individual predictions and offer insights into model behavior without relying on specific model architectures. So all of these are some of so I shared with you what is explainability and the significance of this project what tools you can use. So now let's see what challenges are there and what are the, some of the considerations that you can take. So one of the, one of the challenges is that we have uh, black box models are highly complex. For example, if I want, one of the major challenges is the explainability of complex black models, such as deep neural networks. So these models have millions of parameters, making it difficult to understand the decision-making process. If I want to extract meaningful explanations from such models, Existing techniques may not provide satisfactory insights. That is why we always say that if you can keep things simple, just keep them simple so that you also ease in the process of explainability. So another challenge is there is always a trade-off between accuracy and explainability. But there are, there's currently many, many tools that you can use to reduce this trade-off as much as possible. So techniques that enhance explainability such as simplifying models or using interpretable algorithms may sacrifice some level of performance, which we do not want. So striking the right balance between accuracy and explainability is crucial, especially in high performance critical, where high performance is critical in these systems, but interpretability is also considered. So for example, there is Fairlearn. This is a library in Python, which you can check out. It has a great way of making sure that you have a great balance between explainability, reducing biases, and actually the accuracy of the model. Another one is lack of standardization and evaluation metrics. So the field of explainable AI is still evolving, and there's a lack of standardization in techniques and evaluation metrics. This poses challenges in comparing and benchmarking different explainability methods. So without established standards, it becomes difficult to assess the effectiveness and reliability of explainability techniques. 
hindering their wider adoption and interoperability across open source projects. But this is not a challenge because if you are doing an open source project, you can decide to come up with a best standard that can be the guidance of that project when it comes to matters explainability. And also ethical and legal implications is another big challenge. So for example, when I'm sharing detailed explanations about a decision-making process, it may invertedly expose sensitive information or infringe on the privacy rights of the user. For example, let's say I'm working on sensitive data like medical data, and I cannot like really share much about it to the developer because that is a critical data I don't want to share it with everyone. But also I want to develop explainable system. That is why you have things like the flower library in Python to help you counter these ethical and legal implications. But just wanted to add that and share that this is also something you should consider when choosing an explainable system tool. So I had 10 minutes to share. I'm like with seconds past my 10 minutes, but these are the key takeaways I hoped to have shared with you in this talk, where you, at least you have gained insight on the importance of explainability, you've learned about the challenges, and you've also gained some understanding of techniques and tools used in building explainable AI systems. So what I always say personally is that the journey of explainability is a balance of what was, what is, and what should be. So for what was, we have to acknowledge that we aren't perfect. And we and when left and check, we propagate our biases in the mode of the train. So we don't have explainability. And when you're left and check, it becomes a big problem to us. And with what is, it's a recognition that we already introduced biases into the process to improve, into the process to improve performance, accuracy, and optimizing for errors. And so how can we now go forward with this? And now what be, is we start to act by putting all we've discussed today in this talk into practice, the tooling and approaches that have, we have been discussed today in efforts to solve this constraint optimization problems as part of our work, as part of your work for as a data scientist, machine learning engineer, and also making these hard trade-offs and having these hard conversations to avoid the appropriate product failure and representational, representational harm and opportunity denials in groups or individuals. So, that is why I say it's a balance of what was, what is, and what should be. So I hope we will collectively use these tools and techniques in our open source projects, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning open source projects, so that we can be better ancestors in this practice, bringing a better lived experience to our daughters and sons online in, our, in the future. So, yeah. So with that, I really want to say thank you, everyone. I'm two minutes past time, but thank you, everyone, for coming and taking part in this talk with me. I really hope you enjoy KiosCon Africa. I'm so excited to have spoken at this conference today. I hope to join all of you next year in person. And I really, 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 really can't wait to hear from you. Of course, if you have any questions on this, please feel free to reach out to me on GitHub or on Twitter, or you can check out that website. And of course, you can reach out to me or on LinkedIn. Just Brian Kaimanyumba, I'll be there to answer any questions that you might have you might have. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day today at the conference. Goodbye.